Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kitty and today is another showing of my artwork. It is actually August 15th. It is my birthday and I have to show you. Look what my sister sent me. A pretty little bracelet. says always sisters forever friends ah she misses me I miss her too very much okay so today I am showing you my 10 by 20s and 11 by 14s the 10 by 20s there are only three and there are videos on all of them so I will get started number one is this one I had tried different colors and I did not put it on the back but this one came out Pretty cool. I mean, look at the cells in this. Very, very cool. And I wish I could remember the colors. I'd have to go back and... I mean, there's a video on it. Um, but yeah. And that came out really, really cool. I like it. And it's varnished and already ready to go if it needed ready to go if it needs to go and see there I go again <laughs> it's what I do <laughs> I don't know why I do that all right so that's number one <clears throat> number two was with the same colors I actually think this one was the first one that I tried with those colors. But here's the second one, number two, 10 by 20. They're both very, um, very earthy, I think. So there's that one. Same thing, all varnished and Varnish and shiny. Number two. <clears throat> and number three is a Dutch pour that I did that I, I really don't know what I was going for, but I was just doing it. So, but it's with the, um, I believe it's the Green Earth, the Cad Yellow, and of course Gold. And the Gold, I mean, really, that Gold in there just looks so awesome. Of course it's going to shine because it's varnished, but look at those. Look how cool those cells are. Just a little bit of blue right over there. Very pretty. Here's the middle one. And this one. Yeah, that one, you can see the shimmer. The, that gold, really, I love that gold. It shows up. It shimmers so much. I just love it. But yeah, that's, um, that's number three, 10 by 20. And that is the last one of those. Um, 
Yeah. And now I'm going to show you my 11 by 14s. <clears throat> I'm, I'd have to tell you if I've got videos or I don't remember. Um, this one, I think I, I done a long time, I did quite some time ago. And it was with, um, of course, blue and I think, I want to say crimson. Crimson? But this one actually... I had a problem with the um, varnish, but it's fixed. It's not resined. It is it is varnished, but it, it does have just a little. I mean, you can't really see it if if you don't know it's there. But this was, I believe, yet another try at a boiler maker. But it is very shiny, as you can see. You can see me, hi. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's very cool. Let's see if I can show you some stuff in there. Yeah, so boiler makers, you know, I've tried several of them and I don't know I don't know why, but I have such a hard time with them. But yeah, all right. So there is number one of the eleven by fourteens. And here is number two. Not sure if there is a video on this either, but I love this one. Oh my goodness! Look at all of the dendrites that came up. Like I had a, a run there for a while that. I was getting dendrites like everywhere on my paintings and I did do a purple and blue um, flip and drag that it just spread out really great but I, I sold that one <laughs> but um yeah this is just it is so pretty and I really really like it a lot those dendrites though they're just so cool and to like watch them because when you leave it they're not there and then you just stand there and like I'll stand there and watch it for a while and it's it's very cool so I love this one not really sure the technique it was probably another boiler maker but yeah it's pretty I did it quite some time ago but yeah, that's number two. <clears throat> number three. Oh my god. Are Dove Metallics and I, of course, another one that I love. God, this one's so pretty. It's, it, it's metallics and more metallics and it's just so, so awesome. This one is... I love this one too. I love all of them. <laughs> Isn't that how we do it? Like we make them and we just love all of them, but we can't keep them all because we don't have the room. I hope it's picking up the colors. I think I'm going to try this, this color again because I just, this one is so pretty. Oh, love it metallics. I don't know if you guys can really tell. Maybe a little bit. So pretty. I love that one. So that's number three. <clears throat> number four was a flip and drag with, I believe it is teal and you guys, I've done these so long ago. This one also has little little dendrites too. See on the edges? It's very cool. This one's kind of um kind of like southwesterny, if that's a word. Is that a word? <laughs> southwesterny? Oh, well if it isn't, it is now. Try not to make this video too long. But, and there's some frac dendrites? Fractals. 
It's probably the same thing, but I'll have to look that up. There's that one. Flip and drag. Come on. There you go. So there's that one. And all these ones so far are varnished, so. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> this one <clears throat> was done on the New Year's Eve paint pour party. This was actually number one. And this was the first painting that I did that came out, like literally the first one that I did that came out like this, like awesome, like this. And I've done a set of coasters with these colors, which are over there. And I have, I did a little eight by eight, I believe it was, which Christina Welch had gotten. Um, on my first, <laughs> my very first little auction. Um, but yeah, this was number one of the paint pour party. And it's, of course, you know, one of my favorites. I just, I love how it sold up. And how it, it kind of goes from like light over here. And then as you go this way, it goes dark. Don't know how that happened, but it is just awesome. But I did do a set of coasters, and um, when I when I show you coasters, you guys, I'll show you, of course, because they're done. So yeah, I love this one. This one's just really awesome. I don't. This reminds me of something. I'm not sure, but. But it does. But check out all these cells. Check out that guy. I don't know what that guy was, but it's got some little tiny cells in there. <laughs> I love this one. Came out very awesome. But yeah. Here's that one. Love it. Number five. Okay. Number six was probably another attempt at a, I think I did quite a few, um, uh, geez, what do you call them? I, I just said it, like, I'll think of it. Boilermaker. Yeah, that's what this was. Another one. And there's probably another one over there, too. But... They're, they're green, and check out how this came out. These fractals, and it's so light and so, so soft right there. Came out. Came out pretty cool. Greens. So yeah, there's that one. Number six. <clears throat> Number seven, same thing. <laughs> I tried hard, you guys. I did a lot of them, a lot of the boiler makers. And I did a, another green one, another attempt. And this is it. Let's see? very green. It's pretty. So Boilermakers, yeah, I'm sure I will continue trying. Because like these are these are ones I've done I did some time ago and I have some newer ones that I've tried and Obviously, I'll keep trying, but that's number seven. Three more, you guys. Oh my gosh, another favorite. Oh my gosh. 
This is a flip and drag back when I was getting a lot of dendrites. Blues. These are, this is metallic. I'm trying to remember here. Um, blues and teal. I don't, I think, I think this one might have been the, let's see, maybe the Peacock Pearl? I don't know. But I love this one. It's so, and I'm going to show you the dendrites. How cool are those? If it would stay in focus, that would be really, really good. Come on. This one's really pretty too. Blues, you know? So this one's varnished also. Very pretty. So there's that one, you guys. And there's two more left. <clears throat> These last two are resin. And heavy. <laughs> A little heavier. This one, you guys, I gotta set them down because... I think I was trying to go for like, yeah, well, obviously two different colored sides, but, and I, I pulled these out. I did all that, pulled those out and I, and I made these little things right here, I, but this, it's like an eye, right? It's like an eyeball that it was just really tiny. When I was done, and the next morning when I woke up, there's an eyeball. So he's like pretty cool. He's like my my purple monster, my purple people leader. <laughs> and it is, this is metallic in here. The amethyst. Um, yeah, metallic amethyst by Deco Art. So I'm, I need to, I need to go, get up here. But it's, it's so cool. And this was one of the um, ones that I had problems with the varnish and then I fixed it with resin. So it's all flat and smooth and very shiny, well protected, and it's just cool. I couldn't let him go. He looks like, he's like a little, you know, there's an eyeball right there, he's something. Like he came alive. But I thought it was it was pretty cool that, that middle part. So there he is. <laughs> He's pretty. So that one is resined. And it is eleven by fourteen. And that was number nine. So we have one more. Number 10 <laughs> uh, was with, I can't remember the blue, maybe it was, yeah, I can't remember the blue, and it was crimson and white and black. Now, this, you know, I've seen a lot of people do the, um, the wings, the wing pour, and That was, <laughs> that was my attempt at a wing pour. That's it. And I haven't done one since. Like, I, and I don't know why, but I just haven't. But this one was also, um, I fixed with, with the resin. So this one is resined. And there's just so much going on in here. Like all these cells and different things going on. Really wish it would stay focused so I could show you. 
I know it's really shiny too. Let's go down here. Trying to. So yeah, that was my um. This was my attempt at wings. Long time ago. Like a long time ago. And I haven't been painting that long, so like a long time ago could be like six months ago. Which is probably about right. I don't know. So yeah. That is all of them for today, you guys. <laughs> Not really sure. So this is it for the 10 by 20s and 11 by 14s. Um, I still have more to show you. I hope you guys are enjoying these. I really do enjoy showing you my artwork and what I have done, what I have been doing. I'll just leave that there. Um, so please like this video if you do like it. Hit that like button. Feel free to share my videos. Don't forget to hit that bell and so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Subscribe if you have not. That would be really awesome. And I appreciate every single one of you. You are all awesome. I love your comments. You guys are really great. And I appreciate all of you. So with that... Um, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!